Greece is a country known for its rich history and cultural heritage, as well as its beautiful beaches. In today's video, we're visiting the top five travel destinations in Greece, showing you the top attractions in these cities and what you should eat while you're there. But before you smash your plate on the floor and yell, Opa! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. OK, let's go to Greece. Don't forget your sunglasses. Number 1. Athens Athens is the capital city of Greece, and it's known for its history and cultural landmarks. It is home to some of the most ancient and well-preserved ruins in the world, which draws millions of visitors each year. It also offers a wealth of museums and galleries, vibrant nightlife, beautiful beaches, and an incredibly efficient transportation system, which makes it easy for visitors to get around and explore the city. While here, visit the Acropolis. This famous hill is located in the centre of Athens and is home to some of the city's most well-known landmarks, including the Parthenon. The Parthenon was built over 2,400 years ago as a dedication to the goddess Athena, the goddess of wisdom, war and crafts. You'll also want to see the Agora, which was the centre of ancient Athenian life. Here, people would gather to conduct business, discuss politics, and engage in cultural activities. Today, the Agora is a popular tourist attraction and home to a number of ancient ruins, including the Temple of Hephaestus and the Stoa of Attalus. And of course, you'll want to enjoy Greek cuisine, which is known for its fresh and bold flavours. Try souvlaki from a street vendor. Souvlaki is Greek fast food and consists of deliciously marinated meat on a skewer, perfect for tourists on the go. Or enjoy moussaka, a traditional Greek eggplant casserole. When in Greece, eat like the Greek do. Number 2. Crete The largest of the Greek islands, Crete is a popular destination for its beautiful beaches, ancient ruins and cultural attractions, such as the Minoan Palace of Knossos. The Minoan Palace of Knossos is the largest and most important of the Minoan palaces on Crete. The palace is a designated World Heritage Site and is known for its well-preserved frescoes, which depict scenes from ancient Minoan life. Check out the famous Blue Monkey fresco, which depicts a group of monkeys sitting in a tree. Known for its vibrant blue colour, the fresco is thought to depict Dionysus. Next, head to the charming city of Harnia. Located on the western coast of Crete, Hania is known for its sandy beaches and historic Venetian harbour. This harbour was built in the 13th century and used as a major port for trade. Now, tourists love to stroll through the narrow streets and take pictures in front of the whitewashed houses with colourful doors and windows. Also along the western coast of Crete, visit Alephanisi Beach. This beach is known for its crystal clear waters and pink-tinged sand caused by the presence of crushed shells. The beach is surrounded by a nature reserve and is a popular destination for swimming and sunbathing. Those in the know will have the opportunity to literally walk across the ocean here. That's right, because of the low water level, visitors can walk across the sandbar to the separate island of Elephanisi. Just be prepared, due to its relative isolation, it's popular for nude sunbathing. When it comes to food, Crete does not disappoint. Seafood is an important part of local cuisine. Fish, octopus and shellfish are common dishes. For an appetizer, enjoy meze, which are small tapas-style dishes, typically served with ouzo or wine. Cheers! Number 3. Mykonos a cosmopolitan island in the Aegean Sea, Mykonos is known for its historic towns, beautiful beaches and picturesque scenery. Most tourists start at Mykonos town, which is also known as Kora. Here you'll find narrow winding streets and charming houses with colourful doors and windows. Mykonos town is a popular destination for shopping, dining and nightlife as well as the Mykonos Windmills, a group of seven windmills dating back to the 16th century. They are preserved and open for tours. Just get ready to climb! Tourists also flock to the beaches in Mykonos. The most popular are Paradise Beach and Super Paradise Beach. Despite its name, Super Paradise Beach is actually smaller than Paradise Beach, but Super Paradise Beach has more amenities, including a DJ and beach club. 
These give it a definite party vibe compared to the more laid-back Paradise Beach. If you're interested in Greek history and culture, don't miss the Temple of Apollo and the House of Dionysus, which are both located on the small island of Delos. Finally, check out Little Venice, which offers some of the most stunning views you'll find anywhere in Greece. Little Venice is one of the most romantic towns in Mykonos, and visitors love wandering the streets and staying in one of the quaint houses along the shoreline. When it's time to eat, try some gyros. This popular Greek dish is made with shaved pork or chicken cooked on a spit and served with pita bread, vegetables and tzatziki sauce. Yum! Is anyone getting hungry? Number 4. Santorini Santorini is a Greek island located in the Aegean Sea, about 120 miles southeast of the Greek mainland. This island was completely destroyed by a volcanic eruption in the 16th century BC, creating its rocky, rugged landscape. Tourists love to visit Santorini for its two famous towns, Ia and Fira, which sit on a cliff above an underwater caldera or crater. Located on the northwest tip of the island, Ia is a picturesque village known for its blue domed churches. Nestled on a cliff, Ia has some of the most beautiful views of the Aegean Sea. And when you think of Greek villages, this is probably the one that comes to mind. You'll want to get that perfect Instagram picture here. Fira is another famous village located on the west coast of the island. Fira is the capital of Santorini and is also known as the art and culture capital. While wandering through the streets, you'll find endless art galleries and shops where you can purchase the perfect souvenir from Greece. Also, check out Akrotiri, which was buried by a volcanic eruption in the 16th century BC. The site is a designated World Heritage Site and is a popular destination for visitors interested in ancient history and archaeology. In terms of food, you are in for a treat. Santorini is known for its fava a traditional dish made from yellow split peas. The peas are pureed and seasoned with olive oil, garlic and lemon juice and served with warm pita bread. Also, don't miss out on fried tomato fritters, a popular and delicious Santorini treat. Number 5. Rhodes Our final destination in today's video is Rhodes. The largest of the Dodecanese Islands, Rhodes is known for its beautiful beaches, ancient ruins and picturesque Old Town, which is a designated World Heritage Site. It is also known as a party town, with over a hundred bars open late into the night. Walk through the Old Town of Rhodes, a well-preserved medieval city that is surrounded by walls. The Old Town is home to a number of historic landmarks, such as the Palace of the Grand Master, the Street of the Knights, and the Suleiman Mosque. Visit Lindos, a charming village on the west coast of Rhodes, which is home to the ancient Acropolis of Lindos. This citadel sits on a hill overlooking Lindos and played an important role in ancient times. The Acropolis contains the Temple of Athena Lindia, yet another temple dedicated to the goddess Athena. If you're travelling with children, you may want to visit the Rhodes Aquarium. Located in the old town of Rhodes, the Rhodes Aquarium is home to a wide range of marine animals, including sharks, rays and a variety of fish. Here, visitors can learn about Mediterranean sea life and how to preserve these natural treasures. While in Rhodes, sip on a cup of traditional Greek coffee, which is prepared using a pot called a bricky and served in small cups. Um, can I get two or three of these? This island is famous for its local honey, which is delicious paired with mazithra cheese. This cheese is soft, creamy and bordering on sweet, a true Greek culinary experience that you shouldn't miss. Unwind in the evening with a cup of suma, a famous Greek liqueur made from grapes with a sweet earthy taste to it. Okay, when is the next flight to Greece? Regardless of where you are visiting in Greece, you will be sure to enjoy long, sun-filled days with beautiful scenery, beaches, picturesque towns and delicious food. Not to mention all of the Greek drinks, which are sure to add a little extra laughter to your experience. What would be your number one thing to do in Greece? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, please check out these other videos from our channel.